Okay, guys, I've been seeing some content creators put out there what their keybinds are. I've had a few of you ask questions about what we use for our keybinds. And we've got like a combination of things. I guess I would say the, the best combination is it's kind of a combination of, of Frostbolt's keybinds and Benny's keybinds. And I've kind of just picked and choose what has worked best for me over the years. And this is coming from someone who never played mouse and keyboard starting two years ago. And so I have really tried a lot of different things. And these are the things that work for me. Now, before we get into keybinds, I do want to talk about look sensitivity, ADS sensitivity modifier. I know that Fallout just talked about his as well. I used to do something something along the lines like a, a 0.8 there and then like rock like a 6 or a 7. Also play at 800 DPI. And I, I understand the advantages here, right? The ability to essentially flick to a target from the hip quicker and then as soon as you aim down sights you're working off of a modifier there that's less than one so it's not actually a seven to seven a, a flat one to one uh mo modifier there but instead less than that so you essentially have slower reticle movements while aiming down sights um uh, versus while aiming from the hip and this helps whenever you need to get to the target quick enough uh, and considering we go in and out of our sights with our primary weapons and then, of course, we've got a shotgun. And a lot of us normally need to just center up with someone that's rushing us with our shotgun and we shoot from the hip. I understand the advantages. But for me personally, I I don't know. I, I need to just remember one muscle memory, right? Just just one. And so I keep mine on just four, which I know is kind of low, and I keep it at one. I just keep everything the same. And this is the same across all games that I play because I need to know even if I'm aiming down sights, or, or if I'm shooting from the hip, I need to remember how much I need to move left to right in order to find the targets. Not the best. You know, I get it. I, I see the advantages to the, to the other way that fall out on those guys do. Um, it's just what works for me, right? And so that's just what I've been using for so long. And this is pretty much what I stick to. Occasionally, I would, would drift up to six. That seems a little too fast for me, even at 800 DPI. I like to play more off of my primary weapon four is where I like to live. Now, with that being said, that's just everything in regards to sensitivity. I don't want to really get hung up on that. Um, I do want to mention though, that I play on 105 field of view, which does make a difference. I also saw a video where people were talking about at 90 field of view, how that's more advantageous, how being more zoomed in helps them hit targets more. Um, I think that's completely fine. I have drifted down a couple times before just to see if I was recognizing any advantages. I do know that at some point, a higher field of view, it, it runs into a bug eye situation. It's almost like if you ever play on certain games that get up to like 120, 125, you almost feel like your eyeballs are on the sides of your head because you're seeing so much. Um, but there's, there's some advantages to that. To me though, even on games that offer 120, 130, I, I drifted back down to about 110, 105. That's where I like to live. Even inside of Destiny, that's where I like to live. So with that being said, though, let's talk about keybinds. Um, my keybinds here, guys, other than the finisher, my finisher stays at X. I just want to mention that because I just like it to be close. It's close to my middle finger. It's right under my S. So I can just flick to it on the finish inside of PVE. But for PVP, I actually have my auto melee selected still. And that's actually on a mouse button right here on the side. And you'll see it right here. I don't think it'll zoom in on it. It's right here on the side. I like it because it's just it's just a panic option. You know, someone's up close to me. Um, I'm, I'm not really thinking. I'm, I'm actually just trying to like move still with WASD. And, and so I just immediately hit a melee button, which is right there on my mouse. Although my charge melee is E. Now, I know this is interesting because most of us, by default, use E as our interact button. Um... And this is actually something that I took from Benny. Now, where is Interact? Interact is right here. And I have it as Alt, which is right there under Z. And I can reach it right there with my thumb. And what's so beautiful about Alt being the Interact button, especially if you're getting a res inside of Trials, is I can continue to move with WASD with, with my fingers. And as I'm moving back and forth over a body, I can be holding down Alt with my thumb getting the res it's the same thing like like with controller playing claw or using a scuff controller you know you've got those back paddles right getting the res being able to do two things at once like that 
and maintain movement and firing all at the same time offers huge advantages. Alt offers that advantage for me. It, al it essentially allows my hand to continue movement uh, with WASD. Whereas with E, it was awkward getting a rest. I, I would sometimes I would fumble. It's like I would reach one finger up and then suddenly I was in a situation where I either needed to go forward or go side to side, especially like either W or D. And then I would be in a situation where I just, I just had to give up moving to get the rest. And ultimately what would happen is uh, I would die or, or better yet, you know, at least get the res and die as I'm getting the res and then my teammate would get farmed. So alt just became the go to interact button for me and just been my go to interact button for a long time. And again, that was pulled from Benny. That's what he uses. It's works great for me as well. Uh, moving back up, though, uh, my my charge melee is E. So for those moments that I am rocking things like wait at night for something, um, I just go ahead and just embed it in my mind to just use an E uh, or whenever I want to just throw that knife out or some other charge melee. Uh, let's see for the rest of these. Everything else is pretty basic as far as like holding zoom. My melee um, is the same as my block, which is essentially this that mouse button on the side. My jump is space bar. I know that there are times that I do manipulate the jump. If I am playing Titan and I'm, and I'm also over here, like if I'm doing Titan and I'm playing on, on catapults, then I will run over here and actually change up my jump. I'll, I'll put it on scroll wheel and essentially I'll just do like a, like a scroll wheel up or something. And, and so you notice it just got moved away there from my air move button. And, uh, the reason why you want to do that is obviously when you, when you're sitting there hitting your scroll wheel over and over again, you can develop that momentum and it not only starts, but stops the jump quickly because something about the, the input being hit with your scroll wheel. It's um, it, it's not perfect time skating, but it's a, about as close as we can get it. Now, as far as the air move goes, um, understand your key binds don't have to be something universal. You need to get comfortable with changing this up. Uh, if I'm playing on Warlock and I'm playing Top Tree Dawn, I obviously will take this jump button. I will move it down here to air move and it's essentially that scroll wheel up again. And now that'll, that'll be actually when I when I do my dash, my Icarus dash. Uh, my class ability is actually scroll wheel down. I know that's a weird one. Um, even on Hunter, Dodge and, and all those things, barricades, revs, uh, I do like to use scroll wheel down. It is it's sensitive enough that um, that I'm able to get it off. The only time that it's a problem is you do have to you have to kind of swing down pretty hard on your scroll wheel for things like barricade and rifts if you're on an uneven surface because again any type of interruption like that especially with something like a scroll wheel will result in you halfway casting the animation and canceling right uh so you, you have to be kind of conscious of that and make sure that you fully scroll it down i mean you don't have to just ram it all the way down but but actually complete it right um holding crouch this changes for me if i'm sniping or if i'm taking advantage of weapons that have firmly planted i use toggle crouch and this is essentially the button it's the back button here on my mouse it's uh this one right here it and the reason why i do that is i want to just be able to press my crouch button once and i stay crouch and some like firmly planted obviously takes advantage of you being crouch if i am running and gunning so say for instance hand cannon shotgun um i use hold crouch and the reason why i do that is because mid gun fights you know you're probably going to throw a crouch in to throw your enemy off right you're sitting there hitting each other with primary shots and uh, whether it's hand cannon auto rifle smg whatever but you you throw a crouch in what's beautiful about the whole crouch button is you throw a crouch in and not only do you go down but you don't have to sh hit the button again to go back up right or you don't have to actually hit anything to go up shift or nothing you essentially just hit it once and your character will just go down and straight back up and so it it kind of throws the enemy off because you do it so quickly. You just a, a, a quick tea bag down and up, and that is enough to throw your enemy off. This is actually something that uh, I think it was Panda I saw. So, so again, I guess three different people that I'm I'm pulling things from. But um, but that right there is just something to throw the enemy off. And again, it just changes depending on what I'm using, which is why I don't think you should just marry up to one set of keybinds. Kind of have in your head to, to swap around, like half a base fundamental like nothing really changes as far as weapons and interaction goes but as far as like your crouch 
um and and your you know your melees and stuff like that you can change those things up depending on what you use or your inner your air air move here uh, you can change that depending on what you're using what subclasses you're using now for uh grenade i like to use f um i do fat finger it a lot i thought about moving that over maybe maybe q or something like that f is just right there that's i don't know i i, I started using it a long time ago and it just kind of stuck with me um i i just prefer f being the button now funny enough the reason why f is my grenade button i used to fat finger a lot uh it used to be our super or by default it was the super and so from from frostbolt he actually said that he uses control as a super and which is nice because i actually have to move my pinky all the way down at the end of my keyboard to hit control now i know you're thinking that's not good for panic situations but to be perfectly honest with you you don't want to use your super in panic situations it's one it's something that needs to be premeditated and normally if you do use it in a panic situation you're probably dead right and so i found that just moving it to control actually resulted in me not whiffing as many supers um so i really like control being my super button my stasis breakout is c now let's talk about weapons now my weapons it changes completely and again this is something pulled from frost um kinetic energy and power but this really changes is is the two and the three four stays the same four is always our heavy weapon but two and three depending what i'm using is is what changes so if my primary weapon is in my energy slots it's my two and my special weapon is my three if for instance i go over here though and my my special weapon is now in my energy slot and my primary weapon is now in my kinetic slot, i will then go down here and you'll see me like mid trials match i'll do this I'll put it at two and three that way no matter what two is always my primary weapon and three is always my special weapon and that that is universal for everything for me that never changes and that way no matter what it's not necessarily a kinetic energy split but just a primary special weapon split um obviously this gets confusing if you're rocking like double primaries uh, but you'll just have to just make those adjustments and then like certain weapons like forerunner like a forerunner combo just remember that is a special weapon even though it does perform kind of like a primary so guys that is my key binds that's what i use it's it's kind of a variation of other content creators and what they've used i've just kind of picked up things over the years i've tried things out that worked good and things that didn't work good uh, but so far this has been the the setup that i've used and it's continued to do well for me so guys enjoy let me know in the comments below what your favorite keybinds are. Y'all have a good one. Bye, everybody. Slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>